Hydrogen sulfide poisoning. Hydrogen sulfide is a byproduct of decaying organic matter. It is heavier than air and can be found in closed sewage systems, floating above manure pits, and is also a byproduct at petroleum refineries and paper mills. Hydrogen sulfide is a gas that inhibits cytochrome oxidase in a similar manner as does cyanide and it causes a global hypoxemia. It's also a mucous membrane irritant and at high doses acts as a knockout gas rendering the patient or the individual exposed unconscious. It does have a harsh rotten egg like odor to it however those individuals that are exposed quickly undergo a phenomenon known as olfactory fatigue where the high exposure to the gas prevents the individual from being able to smell that gas any further because their olfactory system is fatigued from that particular gas. This will then prolong exposure to the irritant gas despite the negative smell that others might encounter if they were to enter the room. The classic scenario for hydrogen sulfide poisoning can be this. An individual works in a sewage system and enters the confined space to fix a broken pipe. He smells a odor of some rotten eggs, develops a bit of a runny nose, the odor quickly dissipates, he develops some mild tearing and lacrimation, and then is quickly rendered unconscious, as again, this is a knockout gas. A second individual comes into the source system to rescue him, and he himself is also quickly rendered unconscious. At this point in time, it's recognized that this is likely an environment that's very rich in hydrogen sulfide, so a third rescuer must enter the scene, but in this case, when donning scuba gear, is able to be protected from the exposure. The signs and symptoms of exposure to hydrogen sulfide gas include irritation of the mucous membranes. This again causes some rhinorrhea, some lacrimation or increased tearing. Exposure can potentially cause corneal ulceration, known as gas eye, and conjunctival injection. The patients might exhibit some confusion, discoordination or ataxia, develop cardiac arrhythmias, and can potentially develop pulmonary edema. Again, this is a potential knockout gas that can render the exposed individual unconscious. Treatment for exposure to hydrogen sulfide gas is supportive. It includes airway support, cardiac monitoring, and then management of any cardiac arrhythmias. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy and treatment with hydroxocobalamin are of theoretical benefit. In your household, in the bathroom and kitchen, there's a device known as a P-trap that prevents sewer gas such as hydrogen sulfide from entering the house. At the area of the P-trap, it's shaped like the letter U where there is an area of water that prevents the gas from coming up, making the dip around the pipe and entering the house because that water prevents the gas from passing through and then diffusing out. If your P-trap does not have enough water in it, or if your sink drain was a straight pipe, it would be easy for sewer gas to re-enter the house and cause a bad odor in your bathroom. In this case, any bad odor in this bathroom is probably coming from our buddy Travis right here.